Hey there, MWG Tabletop fans. Josh here to bring you some more Team Yankee. Today I'm gonna to be going back to my roots and playing my uh, playing my West Germans. My opponent for today is... Uh, Mark. All the way from? Pennsylvania. And what are you playing? Soviets. Very cool. Let's check out the forces. We play and call it work. The main part of my force here is a Martyr Panzer Grenadier Company. So leading the force, uh, you have the Martyr Panzer Grenadier Company HQ with the extra MG3 team, and then they have a pair of Martyrs. I also have a Martyr Panzer Grenadier Zug, that is the full strength, so three MG3 teams, uh, two Milan teams, and a Gustav. I've also brought along with them uh, three Leopard 2s, three Jaguar 1s, and four Gepards. My other little formation here is going to be a Leopard 1 Panzer Company. Uh, I've got one Leopard 1 leading it as the HQ, and then two little Leopard uh, 1 Panzer Zugs that are four strong apiece. In support, I've got a uh, Martyr 2 little uh, scout troop there, upgraded to have the 50 millimeter cannons. And then I've got some of those there mountain infantry. <laughs> Because I am not going to insult <laughs> everybody who speaks German by trying to pronounce that. Moving across to look at these Soviets. What am I playing against today? All right, so I have a T-64 tank battalion with a tank battalion HQ, three groups of three T-64s, and a Min Squad BTR-60 motor rifle company. Very cool. Then I also have a BMP motor rifle battalion with one HQ, and two min size BMP2 motor rifle companies. The men inside the RPGs have been upgraded to the RPG 7VR tank nice. teams. Mm -hmm. And in support, I have six MI24 Hind assault helicopter companies. And the RPG teams inside have also been upgraded to the RPG 7VRs. And I have uh, two geckos. Oh, very cool. Mm -hmm. A little bit of AA. Not going to need it, but. Uh, the it's worth bringing in the force. Yes. The mission we have rolled up today's counterattack. You've broken through the enemy defenses, beat them to the objective to seal your victory. So the way this works is uh, I'm going to be the defender. Um, I have the ambush and immediate reserves rules, and I'm going to be defending from a table quarter. Mark is in the opposite table quarter, and there's going to be uh, an objective in mine and then an objective next to mine that's diagonal from Mark. That was a bad explanation, but the map is helping you understand. Um, so the game cannot be won before the sixth turn. The attacker wins if they end their turn holding an objective. The defender wins if they end their turn with no attacking tank or infantry team with an aid of an objective. Before we get deployed, this is the lovely table we are playing on today. Um, Again, this is all Gale Force 9 stuff. This is all stuff that is pre-painted. Uh, no effort has been put into this. I open the boxes and it goes onto the table. So uh, I like this thing, you know, this little offshoot of the Autobahn or something like that. Uh, forested area here, which is where I'm gonna be kind of um, snuggled into. Uh, I imagine that Mark knows that he's gonna clear that out to be able to safely move troops down here. Uh, so that's why there's one objective here. There's also a little objective over here by the little gas station. Um, again, refueling refuel. point. Yeah, you know, get some snacks. Uh, and then a little bit of a, you know, this is, uh, you know, some farmland maybe over this way, or, you know, at least the, the kind of um, entrance to some uh, farmland. Uh, once again, love this terrain. Big thing about all of the uh, buildings that they do, uh, they're pre-painted, obviously, and uh, the tops come off. So for putting your infantry and all that stuff inside, super handy dandy. I likes it. And here we are, deployed. Leo 2s, all my infantry, all of their respective martyrs, and uh, the good old Gepards hanging out across the board. Uh, T-64s plenty, and you're uh, using your uh, leader here is gonna be signified by the mine clearing devices. He doesn't actually have, no. but it's a-okay. Uh, and then, yeah. Your BMP twos, the geckos just geckoing it up. The last of your T64s, and then your BTRs. One thing I will mention about uh, Mark. Hey, Mark, wave to everybody. So Mark drove all the way down. This is a game that you've been interested in for a while, but you don't really get much of a chance to play. That is correct. So uh, we're going to do our best to go slow. We're going to do our best to not make uh, a whole ton of errors. But uh, you know, whether uh, rules errors or tactical errors, they might pop up a little bit. Um. 
I appreciate you coming in so I can show this game off more and more. And I know the uh, comment section, ah, there's always going to be one jerk, but uh, feel free to give Mark some uh, advice, some pointers. Please do. Uh, Josh already uh, fixed my list. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We've done one little fix to the list to make it legal and make it make a little bit more sense. But yeah, this is a game. It's a lovely community. Um, and I'd love to see more and more people getting into this. So I think this will be a great example of, uh, you know, don't be shy. Get some tanks, paint them up, and uh, play some games. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Beginning of the Soviet turn. Nothing to it but to do it. Uh, I'm going to show you where everything currently is and then uh, where it all ends up. Movements are complete. Um, so basically, BMPs have uh, moved up here. Uh, these T-64s went with the cross here to get into position. These T-64s actually just moved up aggressive. Didn't really count on that. I'm kind of out of position. Um, but I, maybe I'll pay for it, maybe I won't. Uh, you do have a, the, uh, your little HQ here got bogged down. One of these T-64s got bogged down, but the other two made it to here. And then just moving up BMPs aggressively uh, along with the BTRs. Holding off on the helicopters because you don't want to get shot up right away you kind of want to see how the game develops a little bit and uh yeah i dig it let's go over to shooting okay so these t64 is shooting now they're going to shoot over here i do have concealment gone to ground right now um plenty of stuff in the way so you're looking for sixes mm. oh with a five and a three not good enough now that that's done, you're gonna go over to here. These T-64s, shooting into my Leo 2s, this could actually make a huge difference early on because I kind of bumbled a little bit. I should have put them into the force. I'm not sure why I didn't, but that's okay. You're looking for fours to hit instead of sixes. Uh, so you get two hits. Mm -hmm. uh, your anti-tank 22, I am essentially gonna be 19 because of the uh, range. So this tank right here, let's see what I can't get and I'm fine, I bounce the shot. And the next tank in line, ooh, he's not fine. Uh, so firepower check. Two plus. And that is a destroyed tank. Uh, okay, so I fumbled and I lost 11 points off the hop, but it's okay. And that's that. Uh, I don't think you have anything else to resolve. No, sir. So let's go over to Germans, turn number one. Okay, so the first thing I gotta do is reveal my ambushes, which I think I'm just going for the Jaguars. Yes. And here we go, the ambush of the Jaguars. Uh, putting some work in over here. And now I need to start rolling for my immediate reserves. Looking for a five up here to start bringing stuff in. And a four is not good enough. So, no German reinforcements yet. Let's get the rest of my move done. Okay, my movements are complete. Getting the Gepards over here, some of the Martyrs traveling this way. I managed to bog down this tank when I went to go move, uh, so hooray me. Uh, so his friend just came up to support, and then um, shuffled these Martyrs around, and yeah, I'm ready to start shooting. So we're gonna go my Leopards shooting over into these T-64s here. Real cool if I had some extra shots. Okay, so they're each gonna get a hit. Okay, you're looking for a five for no effect. Uh, so he might get bailed. He might get destroyed, and the last one might get bailed. Okay, actually not bad results. So we'll do firepower check on the closest tank. Uh, he's fine. Mid is destroyed, and then the last one is bailed out. Okay, that's a start. Uh, we're going to have my Jaguars now shooting over into the lad straight ahead, I believe. These are going to be looking for fours, because you do have the concealment at least. Okay, so I'm only going to get one hit, and we'll just have it on mid-tank there. Uh, you're looking for a six to match on this. No. You don't. Firepower. Passed, so mid-tank gets destroyed there. Okay, we got a couple shots that uh, rang out there. I got a couple Milans to throw at you, too. And I think both the Milans, yeah, they're just going to end up targeting the T-64s that are here. Uh, so we'll be targeting Buddy Boy on the uh, end there. Looking for threes to hit you. Okay, so I've got a hit on him. These are AT21, so you're looking for a five again for no effect. No. And you're gone. And I do believe that is that. 
so getting a couple early T64 kills, I'm happy enough about that. They are super spooky tanks. I don't know if I've actually played against T64s yet. I think technically once I played against three T64 BVs, I think they are, but um, yeah. Different when you've got like 10 of them staring at you. So that's gonna be it for uh, my turn. Let's go to turn two for the Soviets. Beginning at turn two for the Soviets here, we're gonna see, do you remount on a three up? You do remount. Now your morale, do you stick around on a three up? You do, he's in it to win it. And then we're gonna go ahead, show off where all of Mark's forces currently are and see where they all wanna end up. Okay, the moves are complete. Still holding off for the helicopters because um, you want to see what my reinforcements start to do, but also, you know, the capability to counter them. I kind of agree with the fact that I don't think you need them yet because um, you don't really have a plan of exactly what you want to do. Uh, so the BMP mounted infantry, well, dismounted, and then mm -hmm. the BMPs have shuffled a little bit. You're stuck here. He stayed still. These two moved around. Uh, everybody else is staying where they are, either because you're happy or because they uh, got stuck again and got stuck again. Uh, BMP is pushing up here to support as a second wave, and the other T-64s have moved up to here. So we're over to your shooting step. Starting off here, uh, you were tossing a missile and then the autocannon shots. That is correct. So missile first, you're gonna hit me on a uh, five. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Concealment protects. And then the autocannons. Uh, four shots total hitting on fives. Okay, one. so you've got one which works out. Um, I am armor nine. All that can really happen here is if I roll a one, you might be able to bail me out. I rolled mm -hmm. a two, so. He cares not, because they're AT-10, right? AT-10. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go here. This T-64, single fella, shooting over again into my uh, Leopard 2s. Hitting on a four? No. <sighs> okay. And then you've got these happy little fellas. Or, I guess, anything else you want to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, going to have a little duel with the uh, Jaguars firing straight ahead. Uh, hitting on fives because of my concealment. No. Doesn't even add up to five. Okay, okay. Moving over to here, we have a T-64 putting a shot at the lead martyr. And misses on a two. All right, NATO training protects, even though I guess that didn't need to happen. Um, anything else? All right, so you got three stands able to shoot. Uh, so it's gonna be what, nine shots over into here. Um, and you are just gonna be hitting me on fives because of my concealment. Oh. Mm. Looking at your valid targets, it ends up looking like this. Infantry saves. Uh, pass one, failed one, you owe me a fire power test because I am dug into foxholes. What's your fire power? Uh, five plus. Okay. And no, okay, so we're good there. Uh, this one, pass them both flying colors. This fella, uh, failed it, firepower. Oh, yeah, okay, there goes an ATGM. And then uh, last one, I pass. Uh, that is enough to pin me though. Yeah, this is kind of a problem. Um, I'll, I'll likely be okay, but if that doesn't work, then that's a big assault that I don't wanna have to deal with. Whew. And I believe that's gonna be that. Um, it's all turn, get in position. A lot of pressure happening over here, so I really need my reinforcements to start showing up. Now that I've said that out loud, they're not going to. But hey ho, that's how it goes. Beginning of the turn, looking for a three up to get rid of that pin. And I do. Yeah, we're back in it to win it. All right, good, 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 good. And I need to check now for my reinforcement showing up. I'm looking for fives. Nope. Ah, oh, I really wanted that to happen. All right, yep. Um, I get some problems, but I can deal with some of them as we get ready uh, for my movement steps. So we're gonna show you where my forces are currently setting. Okay, let's go for this fella here. Trying to uh, get himself uh, into the woods proper. Uh, two up cross. Twice in a row, eh? Twice in a row. And uh, his friend is probably gonna just continue to sit. Uh, I don't like the duel that's kind of happening here, but I'm gonna, I need them gone. Actually, you know what, yeah, we're gonna move him up to right about here. And that's it for them. 
I gotta move the capards, then uh, we're gonna show you what 35 millimeter auto cannons do to <laughs> infantry transports in a second. Yeah, just gonna sweep these martyrs over here. One martyr moved up, and uh, yeah, let's do it. I think we are going to start though with my jaguars having their little duel with the uh, fellas in the forest there. Show me hitting on fours. Okay, so again, one hit. Uh, you're looking for a six. Mm. You don't get it. And you're just Ooh. bailed. I don't love that for me. Um, we'll move over to my Leos, which are going to... I'd love to get that one gone. You know what? We're going to have one Leo shoot here, the other Leo shoot there. So the Leo shooting here, hitting on threes. So I got two hits. Uh, you're looking for fives to ignore this, I do believe. No. Nope. And gone. So that tank's destroyed. And then hitting this one on fours with the other tank. Okay, there's a couple hits. And yeah, only Mr. Bailed Out tank is a uh, valid target here. Um, I can't actually see him from where I'm at, so go for it. Nope, <laughs> he's probably gone. Yeah, he's gone. All right, so that's what that looks like after that bit of shooting. Uh, we are going to have these guys go now that have unpinned. Uh, I'm going to throw the one Milan missile straight ahead into that tank, and then my MGs into the lads here. So we'll do the Milan missile into the tank first, hitting on a four. He misses. All right, MGs into the lads in the forest here. Uh, looking for fours. Oh, well, I didn't hit nearly as well as you. <laughs> okay, well, infantry saves as they lie. Uh, so the close one's good. And he's Ooh. not, so he is just gone. Okay, so that's good. I probably should have shot with these guys first. Uh, so we'll do the martyrs are shooting over now. I've only got two that can really see. Okay, so the martyrs shooting in to here, uh, hitting on fours. Oh, there we go. The only two valid targets, I think, for me are going to be here and here, because the other ones are too far into the forest. Okay, so the infantry saves over there. Got him. And then the other one. Got him. Got him. Okay. Down the line over to these martyrs. Firing. Oh, I could throw an ATG. No, he doesn't. The Milan is not technically there. Because <laughs> it's the crew that have the... Uh, the ATGM. So yeah, they're both going to throw their auto cannons into the BTRs. Five shots total. Just looking for threes because you're out in the open. Very good. 87, so I'm straight to firepower on these. Uh, so we'll just go clockwise starting here. Nope. Uh, you're bailed out. You're bailed out. He's destroyed. And he's bailed out. All right, so we're going to take the infantry saves uh, for the AK team. It's gone, and for the RPG team, it's still there. Not too shabby, and then we'll have the uh, <laughs> Capards go. Well, looking for threes. That's a couple hits. Uh, these are AT-11, so you're not doing anything about that. Uh, the lead guy on fours, he's destroyed. Yeah, so we got him. Uh, the one back here is destroyed, and then the last one is destroyed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna roll these up. This one had the only, only had an AK team. So essentially, we'll show the position if they live. You only ever gonna roll once for tests, I'm pretty sure here. Uh, so three up, he's fine. Over here, uh, the RPG team is fine. Then the AKs are fine. RPG team is fine. AKs, fine. Okay, yeah, so they all get out. Perfect. And that's approximately what it looks like. Honestly, your transports are all dead, but at least you didn't lose all the infantry. They're the important bit. Um, yeah. And I do believe that concludes my shooting for the turn. I'm starting to win the push, but I think this is probably where the helicopter is going to show up as we get ready for turn three for the Soviets. Beginning of the turn, the only thing we worry about is uh, these guys being pinned. What is their... Uh, Rally, I believe. Three plus. Yeah, I think it's three ups all across the board for Soviets on a lot of stuff. Yep, they're no longer pinned. You're good. Okay. This ill-fated attack is continuing over here, so the infantry are going to be pushing out. 
Um, trying to get some RPG shots over into the Jaguars before the MG3s uh, probably cut them down. Um, BMPs hanging tight. BMPs over here pushed up a little bit uh, with the T-64s that have repositioned. The infantry have moved through the wreckage of their transports to hang out. And here comes all the Hinds. So you're going to have four up in the air and then two that are landed. Because mm -hmm. uh, the idea is um, you're hoping to destroy some Gepards oh. and not take a ton of fire. Yeah. Good luck. Changing up how the infantry are moving just to make it make a little bit more sense to throw these RPGs down range. Because uh, these guys don't have the upgraded RPGs. Which means they're not as strong, but it doesn't matter against these, but you also have better range. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to start with them shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, so normally you'd be hitting me on fours, uh, and now you're looking for fives for the slow firing. So three shots. No! Okay, so one hit. Looking for a four firepower. And hey. you get it. Destroyed. Boom. Okay, so BMP time. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've got one BMP firing down range. I've got concealment and there is going to be long range on this. So you're only on sixes with two shots. Going to stick with it? Yep. Cool. Let's see what you got. Ah. So close, yet so far. And then the other BMP twos firing into the Martyr ones. Looking for fours. Ooh, and three hits. Two onto this one here. Looking for fives. Because it goes straight to, yep, firepower destroyed. And the other one bailed. All right, so over to the um, T-64s. One can see here, I do have concealment, and then the other one can only really see this for the things you want to shoot at. So we'll do over to here first, looking for four. Yeah, you hit on a two. Yeah, he's destroyed. Then the other one, whipping a shot down here on a five. No, nope. no, misses on a one. Moving over here before we resolve those helicopters. I'm gonna fire my upgraded RPG teams into the Jaguars. Okay, cool. Um, you are looking for sixes. Yeah. Oh, you got two. Okay, I think it's still only him being a valid target. Mm -hmm. uh, the straight to firepower is just two ups. Need yeah. It. Yep, you got him. And then the AK team firing over here. Uh, so a single hit. Yeah, so the uh, single one here, infantry save. He's fine. Move over to the BMPs here, all firing missiles in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you are looking for fives. So you get another one straight to, because uh, what's the AT on this? It's high, I think. I think it's 21. Oh, yeah, you're good then. Oh, yeah, of course. Just straight to firepower on him. That should be a three up. Yeah, you got him. Then the T64 you forgot about. Yeah, there's, there's no bailed out here because he got destroyed. So yes, you do have one here, firing over to the Jaguar. Five? No, okay. Very good. On to the helicopters then, eh? Well, uh, Gepards, do your thing. I won't be able to shoot them at anything else next turn. All right, it's less shots than I would normally get. Let's see what I can do on threes. That's a spicy meatball. I will put two on the lead helicopter and then three on each of the rest. Uh, so we'll go clockwise starting here. Your aircraft save is what, four up? Four plus. Failed only one. Uh, four firepower. And no, he's fine. Uh, the one up front with only two on it. Failed them both. Got him. Uh, the next one with three. I only failed one. Firepower doesn't get him. The last one. Fails all three, and we get him. Right, just gonna fire the missiles down, looking for fours. Now they both hit, the straight to firepowers. And threes. Is it threes or twos? Double bailed out. Whew. That was interesting. And obviously the infantry that was inside the ones that were flying is lost. And that's, um, is that turn? I believe that's turn. All right. Yeah, the situation's developing, so big, strong push over on this flank. Um, you're fighting back over here, but I, I think it's kind of a lost cause. I'm not super worried about it anymore. Um, I should be able to hold this, so I need to start to shift my forces over this way. Um, let's do that as we get ready for turn three for Germany. Oh, did I need to take a... Uh... Mark, uh, for yeah, I think we both forgot to take the morale check on him. Oh, he would have left anyway, so that's cool. 
Thanks for remembering that. Woo! Good to be honest. Uh, these get back in on fours as the dice lie. Uh, so it gets back in. Does not get back in. But it means I'm not in bad spirits yet. Now that all that's done, I gotta roll for my reserves. Again, uh, fives for stuff to show up, but I automatically get one if I don't roll any fives. Oh well, I get the one. All right, back to the battlefield after some uh, back and forth. So first and foremost, my Leo twos have swept in over here to try to take care of these hinds while they're on the ground, because I have the feeling my AA is not gonna be really be in great shape next turn. Um, so that's a thing. My Leo twos have moved over to start to engage in the middle here. My Martyrs moved over to support. Two got stuck, one made it through. And then uh, everybody else is just kind of chilling like villains. So uh, yeah, let's get over to my shooting, which I guess we'll start with my uh, Leo twos shooting over at your T-64s. Uh, you're out in the open, so I'm just hitting you on threes. Very good. Okay, looking for sixes to completely ignore uh, on this tank. Nope, fire powers. We get them. And then the other one. Nope. And we get them. Those T64s are gone. And then let's see if we can get that martyr shooting down into the lads here. Uh, hitting on. Should I just be hitting on threes again? Mm -hmm. Nope, that didn't work. My guepards can't do anything, so we're going to move over to my Leo ones shooting at your landed helicopters. Eight shots total, hitting on threes. More than a couple hits. So we'll assign three to him and two here. Four aircraft saves. So he's destroyed. Uh, and then the other one is Ooh. fine. Weird, okay. And rolling saves for the infantry. Uh, the RPG squad is fine. The other one, the AKs are gone. Move from this side of the board all the way over to here. Um, yeah, let's see what we can do. Uh, it's literally just, yeah, my MGs into your lads out in the open. All right, looking for threes. Yep. Yeah, the allocations looks like so. You're also going to be pinned automatically. So in the end there, he's fine. Next one, it's fine. He's going to take two. Okay, uh, the AK team. Oh, I thought that would be the one to go down. The last guy. Okay, so we get one RPG team and you are pinned. Uh, the Jaguar now is going to toss a shot at uh, I don't know the uh, the mid BMP. I missed. <laughs> hmm. Intriguing. That was not a. I mean, it's not a bad turn for me, but it wasn't a great turn either. Uh, let's get ready for turn four Soviets. See if you can unpin the lads here. Ooh. No, they're staying right where they are. We haven't been showing the cross checks, but you, for the first time ever, passed a cross check on him. <sighs> they were two ups, you failed, what, three in a row? Yes. <laughs> okay, here he goes. We gotta do a last stand for him there before you move to him. No, he's gone. Toodaloo. And we also have to come over here and try to unpin this one little guy. Yeah, he's fine. No longer pinned. Now we can get the rest of your movement going. So we'll show where the blob is in the middle as I start to surround it, and then where it ends up. All right, deciding not to actually drop off the infantry. So the helicopters are back up in the air. Um, the infantry that did get dropped off has moved over here. So this infantry has moved up. Now you could have spread out further, but decided not to, so you can allocate hits to here with the helicopters. Um, these infantry are still pinned, BMP staying still. And over here, there was a dismount. Your infantry have moved a little bit. One BMP moved, the other three are sitting still. Mm -hmm. So, shooting. The two BMPs on this flank, firing uh, missiles in again. Wait for five, okay, that's double hits. Uh, just roll all firepower. A single three up on either of these. Hooray. That kills the Jaguar. Don't gotta worry about them anymore. Uh, the lads here, what's your pinned rate of fire? You get a couple, you get an AK shot to throw at me and an RPG shot. Uh, the AK missed, the RPG hit. Um, I gotta take an infantry save. I pass it, we don't care. Okay, so next we're gonna have, uh, you have one good RPG and one less good RPG. Mm -hmm. uh, so firing over into here. Which one are we doing? They're both, uh, 
Um, we were fire, or sorry, slow firing is what it is. Yeah. Uh, so you'll be hitting on a five. Do the good one first on a five. Okay, no, and then the other one? No. Okay, so your RPGs have missed, thankfully. And... Is it gonna be the Heinz? Because I can't shoot any of my BMPs at him, can I? Um... Nope, you get guys in the way. Yep. Yeah, it's just gonna be the Heinz. Okay, well, I've got two Gepards able to shoot up then. There's actually more shooting. There's a guy inside of here. Hello! Firing an RPG right here on a five. No! I uh, take a firepower check. Four up. No, but it's, it does bail me, which is huge for you. Uh, and then you do have that RPG team that could try to destroy me. You're looking for a six, though, because I've got concealment. Okay, he misses. Okay, so now the Hinds are going to do their shooting, and I only have one to answer here. Uh, so fire up, fire, fire away, look for threes. Cool. Oh, very good. We'll assign two hits to the two lead helicopters that have guys in front. So we'll go clockwise starting up here. Aircraft save. How many? Two? Two. Nope. Yeah. Whew. No, he's fine. No! The other one? No. Not superstitious, I'm just a little stitious. Okay, so we get him twice. And then the one in the back? Just one? Just one, yeah. <laughs> we get him too. Damn. Okay. Uh, so two helicopters down, but you've got the one left. Then the one helicopter firing over. I've got concealment, so you're looking for a five. Nope, that's a that's a one mark. That's a one. Well, I'm about to get assaulted. <laughs> Uh, we'll have these three fire at left. Oh, yeah, sorry, you got yep. this. Uh, so you've got three firing missiles at them. Mm -hmm. uh, looking for fives again. Oh. Ooh. No! So this is one hit on each. And these are AT... 21. 21, so I'm 18. I'm looking for a four to completely ignore. Uh, this tank. Yep, and then the other one. No. Potential destroy on a three. Oh. And you get them. Oh, I needed him. Now I'm bad at doing assault, so this is what it looks like, I believe. All right, so assault five here, so you got two chances to hit me. Nope, and then assault six on the other ones. Nope. Okay. Yeah, so you win that, and then I have to break off. And that does destroy these two, and then he backs off. Pretty sure we did that right? Guys, I'm bad at assaults. Um, but yeah, basically the, the teams you contacted uh, were, were, were bailed bail. out. Um, so yeah, I had to uh, run away. And he was able to successfully get away. And I think that's it. Kind of a hefty turn. I think you're still in a position to win there, friend. Um, but I need to counterattack hard as we get ready for turn four, West Germany. Okay, yeah, on my turn here, I think the main thing, I just have to roll, oh yeah, uh, is he sticking around on a three up? He is. Is he sticking around on a three up? He is, okay. And rolling four dice for my reinforcements. Ooh, we're getting two in. And here comes my reinforcements. We'll do the other squadron of four Leo twos and the martyrs are gonna show up as well. To hopefully clean this up so I can go push this. Um, yeah, uh, we'll do the rest of my movement, starting with these guys. Uh, I gotta get these guys unstuck now. So we'll do the one right down here, four up. Uh, very good. And then over here, I gotta check it. No, it's not a two, I know that. They do cross into three, so that first one passed. Um, do I, hmm. No, I don't need to move you over quite yet. Uh, you need to just go hunt stuff. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, you can sit right where you're at. Uh, this little fella is just gonna uh, bob and weave. I'm just gonna back up as fast as I can over to my commander. I think that might be all I'm really kind of worried about doing right now. Uh, this I'll clean up eventually. Um. Yeah. Let's, uh, Let's get to it and see if I can't do some heavy damage. Uh, we're going to start with the lads over here, shooting at your lads. 
It's the nine shots with the machine guns again. <laughs> okay, two miss. Yeah, we'll assign it like that. So the one lad, yep, he passes. The next one, you uh, got two was, saves. That was a drop, man. That, you're good. See, look. No, he pat. No, this one just failed. Okay. So he's dead. This one's gonna take two saves. He's fine. This one's gonna take two saves. He's fine. Okay, well, you're still pinned. You were pinned anyways, but I killed that one. <laughs> uh, let's go over to here, and we'll just have my Leo 2 put shots into... Uh, I don't care. Uh, that BMP right in the middle there is gonna be my primary. Huh. Okay, so I hit once, straight to firepower, and he's Ooh. only bailed. Hmm, neat. I think we're gonna move over now. The four Leos that just rolled on are gonna be targeting the BMPs as well. A grand total of eight shots into him on threes. I missed a bunch, but I hit a bunch. Yeah, we'll assign him like that. So this one up here, uh, firepower. We got him. Uh, the one that was already bailed out. We got him. This one. We got him. And the last one. Oh, he's bailed out now. Eh. Just a big blazing wreck there. Um... Well, I've got my martyrs that I guess are going to shoot at your infantry out in the open. It'll be five shots total because the one uh, moved. Okay, I'll just assign it like that. Uh, so we'll do the two RPG teams up here. Good. And good. Good. And great. Okay, I guess we'll do my, my other martyrs shooting over. Same thing, I've got somebody nice and out in the open. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, okay. That's what the hits look like. I can't assign to him all the way back there. So two saves on the guy up front there. Mm. Uh, so we get him. Two saves on this one. We get him. One save on that RPG team. He's fine. One save on this RPG team. He's fine. Two saves on the AK team closest to me. We get him. And then one save on the other AK team. Oh, he's fine. Okay. So a couple bases are gone and you're pinned. And then we'll go with the lads here. Um, I'm just going to fire into this poor little team. <laughs> yeah, we'll do the one side of the building. Four shots and I should be on fours for range and everything else. I can assign hits to the other two ones because I can see them now. Okay, uh, so we'll go one there, one on the guy out in the open. Uh, so, over here, infantry save, you're fine, then the one out in the open is Oop. not fine. So, I will, boop, that out of there. Oh, that's my shooting for the turn done. Uh, you want to try yep. assaulting me anywhere? Uh, I don't have anybody close enough anywhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, no. That's okay, I'm going to keep just shooting you with machine guns and stuff <laughs> until my problems go away. <sighs> Pretty big, let's go over to turn five for the Soviets and see how it looks. All right, so turn five, we'll start off. Are these guys pinned still? Uh, you get a reroll because you got the lead oh, yeah. nearby. Yeah. Nope, they're pinned. They're staying right where they're at. Uh, does he stick around on a three up? Oh. What was it? I mean, it's super tough. Okay. Okay, so, but he stays on the six, so you're good there. And then uh, do the lads over here unpin? Nope. Don't blame him. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, the, we did a check to see if he was bailed out or not. So he's not bailed out, but then he's gonna do his last stand. Okay, no, so he's fine. Okay, you're gonna go for a blitz here. So you can land and try to get the guys done in the same turn. Nope. No, but you're still able to just land and get them out next turn. All right, movement, the BMPs here are moving in along with the uh, lead from the T-64. Uh, these guys are still pinned. The lead on the BMP-2s has uh, uh, nestled himself into the forest. Uh, these guys are pinned. The geckos have moved around. You've got some stuff going on here. And then uh, these lads are going to go for it and see if they can get my uh, get my Leo 2. Mm -hmm. Okay. That would give you technical tank superiority as far as like models uh, of a uh, tank. So where do you want to start the shooting? We'll start off with my RPG squads. These uh, RPGs firing over into here? Yep. Okay, you got two of them to throw at me. Uh, you need, uh, not that. 
You need more than that. You had a BMP that you wanted to throw a missile over with yep. as well. Uh, five. Nope. nope. T64 up there is going to try to get the Gepard. Uh, you're looking for a five again with concealment. You nope. missed. And then uh, these lads, you've got one that can shoot here and one that was going to shoot at uh, yep. the martyr there. Okay, cool. Uh, so the one shooting at the, uh, the, you know the thing, the Gepard. Oh, you got a hit. This will go straight to firepower. Yeah. Yo, you got him. Oh, my last day. And the one firing into the woods there. Oh, you got a hit. Firepower. No, failed. So you're going to try to assault me then, eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I think I still get my defensive fire. Mm -hmm. uh, my defensive fire, I get four machine gun shots at you as you come in. Um, yeah, he's not close enough. I hit you a couple times. So each of these gets hit once. Uh, we'll do the big AK squad. Ah, uh, he got killed. And then the, the other one's good and good. Okay, so I got the AKs on the way in. What is your assault value? Uh, sixes. Okay. No. Hmm. I get a four up to counter attack. Yep. Now I am the attacking team. It's a four up to assault. No. Okay, Ted, what's your counterattack? Got a three up to counterattack. Oh, you're counterattacking. Yeah. You, you got a hit. If I roll a one, you might be able to bail me. I don't. I counterattack on a four. I do. I assault on a four. Dang it, that's a three. Clearly a three. You can counterattack. Counterattack, three plus. Yes. Stop yes. hitting me. No! Yes. <laughs> Test the bail. Is that what, a four? Four plus? Oh, I'm bailed out. Yeah, I, I'm bailed, so I can't <laughs> fall back. Uh, yeah, so I think he just surrenders and you get it. Huh. We continue with Mark's murderous rampage as he just tries to go after these. Yeah, just sweep, a tro sweep across to try to get as much as you can. Uh, kind of, yeah. Yep, yeah, this is interesting. I have to go take care of this objective now. Okay, let's get ready for turn five for the Germans. I, the only thing I have is a bailed out tank here. And he's back in. It to win it. Uh, back a second, you forgot to shoot here. So a single shot with the AK? Okay. Uh, no, I've got concealment, so no, that missed. The RPG? Okay, fine. I oh. passed my infantry save. <laughs> uh, I guess we're gonna get to the movement. Oh no, I gotta roll for my uh, reinforcements. It's turn five? Ah, yeah, the, the other two are showing up. All right, got ahead of myself. Um, that's where the uh, group of lads have come on. That's where my Leo one has showed up. We're gonna go for a follow me. Nope. So basically he just moves a couple inches forward. Follow me! And they're like, yeah, no. Uh, very good. And then moving everything else, Leo ones have moved up along with the martyrs and the other Leo ones. <sighs> Tried to move this martyr, he got stuck in the forest, brought the other one up. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> so let's just go to shooting. We'll start here with the infantry, see if I can finally get these guys. All right, the, the threes. Oh, I'm, I'm missing. The, the machine gun barrels have gotten too hot. That's the allocation, so buddy boy up there. Okay. The other one. No, he's, he's double gun. And then that last one in the... Okay, so cool. You're not pinned anymore. Uh, you're going to have to test for pinning next turn, I think. But yeah, okay. Very good. Let's do these martyrs firing over. I'm going to get a green total of five shots. And this one will be shooting over at those infantry. But the five shots into your BMPs. Hmm. I've hit two. So we'll go one and two. And what's the armor in a BMP? I think twos. Yeah, it's gonna be a six to ignore on the front one there. Nope, and then the other one. Mm, the other one. I, excuse me, I could bail. Okay, so does this one get bailed on a five? He gets bailed, does the other one get destroyed? No, so these two lead ones are just bailed. And then the other one shooting over into that. <laughs> oh, I got a hit. Take an infantry save on that AK team. 
Nope, okay, goodbye, AK team. I'm just gonna have these guys go ahead and shoot, uh, shoot into them, because if I can wipe them, I think I can get you to not be in good spirits anyways. So, yeah. Yep, uh, these three tanks are gonna shoot there. I don't know why this other one's facing this way. I think I was worried about them unpenning and doing something. So I guess he's just gonna machine gun that guy, that RPG team. Okay, uh, firing uh, into the building, looking for fours. So I've hit each team once. Uh, so uh, you can just roll them both, doesn't matter who's hit. Pass one, fail one, fire pirate check. Okay, and I get one. Boop. This one firing the machine guns over here, like I said, for some reason. Uh, I think you can seal me out of this. I only hit you once. Uh, so, uh, yeah, just infantry save. He's fine. Well, the martyrs are going to open up then. <laughs> Six shots into those infantry. Again, I've got somebody out in the open. Uh, okay, I'm only going to get one hit on each. Uh, so we'll just go down the line. Three up. He's fine. Next one. It's fine. Last one. It's fine. Okay, fine. We get some machine guns. I'll just do this twice. Uh, machine guns into the infantry. Uh, threes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I should have. I should have been smarter about this. Uh, so we've got. Uh, I didn't think I'd hit that much. Just roll these saves for me, real quick. Okay, Ooh. fine. Yep. Okay, fine. And technically, the second volley, which we got to allocate, kind of weird. Okay, so I've got to assign another four. Here, it would have to be one on the destroyed one and one over here. And then, uh, you know what? Uh, he would get another one for sure. And, uh, well, 50-50 to see where I would have put this last one. Okay, it would have went on the first one. So basically just take one save on each. Fine. Not Aww. fine, okay. He's not having a good time. Oh yeah, wait, do you still have a sneaky little BMP in there that's still alive? Okay, cool. I'm, I'm not super concerned about him right now anyways. Um, that's my turn. That's my turn. Twasn't a bad turn. Uh, go to turn six. So hypothetically, the game could start to end on this turn. Okay, so we're gonna jump the lads out here so we don't forget. Um, but we do get a test uh, that, that some, some uh, are you, do you un, oh, let me think about the order of this. Yeah, you gotta try to unpin him first. So three up. He's unpinned, does he stick around? He does stick around, okay. Individual man is good. Over here, does he stick around on a three? He does. Cool. Uh, these two to see if they get back in. Uh, the two passes and the other one doesn't. Mm -hmm. And then are these guys still pinned in? No, they're unpinned. They're good. I don't think they're in good spirits though. Yeah, you need three or more infantry teams. Oh, they, they're in it to win it. Very good. And now we get on with your turn. <laughs> okay, you're just, okay, you're gonna, you gotta stay a little bit further away, but you can move up to get ready for an assault. Yep, okay. I, I see what's happening. BMP's moving in to engage. All right, here's the battlefield. <laughs> so the infantry have moved up over here. BMPs have gotten into position. Tank commanders moved up. Uh, these guys are still pinned, right? Ah, uh, yes. So, yeah, they... Oh, he needs to move up. Boop. So wait, they passed their last stand but failed their pin? I believe so. Okay, yeah, that sounds right. Sure. Uh, there's a little bit of shuffling of infantry here. Your Heinz back over here now. Uh, so we're over to shooting. Three shots? You can get three solid RPG shots without stuff being in the way. Yep. And these are the uh, the actual RPGs. Yep. I think you need sixes. Uh, you got one. Okay. Uh, firepower here. Yep, that uh, destroyed. Next, the BMP that moved up, shooting into here. Nope. Uh, that misses twice. Uh, we'll go this one here, these two there. Yeah. Presumably. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll do the do this one first. This is the easy one. You're just hitting me on uh, fours. Very good. Uh, these ones you're hitting on fives. Very good. Tank lead shooting down here. Uh, he's gonna hit me, and then two up. 
Nah, I'm gone. Moved over here, the infantry. Uh, the three shots with the AK. Very dangerous. You got two hits. Uh, just we'll go here and here. Yep, they're fine. The RPG. Okay. Uh, no, the RPG missed because you're moving mm. fire and I got concealment. Okay, cool. But I would have passed my save anyways. As we move way over to this side of the board. Okay, so you've got one RPG that stood still. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and fire that. You're hitting on a four. Okay, that missed. And then you've got the other good RPG uh, that moved. So you're hitting on a five and you do. And uh, I guess technically, do you pick a tank? That one. Sure. And then the other RPG firing over. Uh, okay. I don't get a save against the 19. That was into this tank, right? Mm -hmm. So firepower? Nope. The bail. And the other one's a 14? Mm -hmm. uh, five to completely ignore. Nope. Four up? Nope. nope. Okay, so just bail bail. Not gonna lie, kind of unexpected. But that's fine. That's fine. He's gonna sling an RPG at someone? <laughs> Uh, yeah. The... This group. Sure. I think you hit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's the strength of this one? 14. Okay, so I gotta roll a uh, 5 to completely ignore. You can decide what take it is in a second when I fail. <laughs> Firepower? No, check build one. Okay. Out. Build out him. Sure. Sure! <clears throat> is that all you got? Uh, oh, the hind. We got the hinds. And here comes the salvo template. Okay, uh, so skill check. I believe you are a five up skill. Five up. Nope. nope, you get to try it again. Three chances. Nope, last one. Okay, hey. it does. Okay, so basically we're gonna do these one at a time. You need uh, double sixes to actually hit. So starting here. Nope. And we'll just go along the back. The close, but no. No. And then next line, nope, nope, the close but nope, nope. <laughs> if you ranged it in the first attempt, you would have actually got some okay hits. Yeah, hey. so you don't manage to get any hits with it, but uh, that was, you fired the rocket salvo. Mm -hmm. uh, then you can assault, but I will get some defensive fire with these tanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, move on in. All right, the defensive fire from these two lads. Uh, I got enough hits to push you back mm -hmm. and potentially do some heavy damage. Uh, so each one's gonna take two hits, except for we'll say the RPG team's gonna take three. Let's see what you got. Uh, so that's gonna be the far team destroyed, the next one destroyed. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, technically the RPG team that it takes the most is fine, but he still gets pushed back. And it does stop the assault and pin you. Um, you wanted to launch another crazy assault uh, here. Yeah, I think you're within four. Yeah, so you get the two teams going in. I do get my defensive fire. Huh. I've hit you twice. Uh, we'll, we'll decide to hit to each of those. Well, I got one of them, so that one. Yeah, that's fine. And then, um, yep, do your thing. <laughs> All right, assault five, assault six. Oh, you did them in the wrong order. I did. Counter assault. That's enough to pass. My assault. <laughs> yeah, I managed to get one. And then uh, your counter assault. Three plus. Yep. Yeah, he wants it. What's he hit on? Fives. Nope. Oh. Okay, my counter assault. A four. Yep, got him. <laughs> <laughs> what a hero. What a hero. I win. I win. Ah. And then you got one last one you're trying to launch over here? Yes. Okay, defensive fire. Uh, yep. Okay. Rat tat 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 tat. Push me away. Yep, so you're gonna fail your assault, but let's uh, assign those hits first. Uh, the RPG team. Oh. Got him. And then the other one. Just Barely got, got him. him. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and with that. <laughs> it's 
Good games. Good games, guys. Good games. You're gonna you're gonna tap out. Gonna gonna tap tap out of this. Okay, fair, fair. <laughs> Awkward left-handed handshake. Good game, sir. I'll give you guys one last little sweep of the battlefield to show the carnage and destruction. And then uh, let's get ready for a post game. And here we go. Welcome to the post game. Chairs of despair have been acquired, and we're sitting comfortably. So yeah, let's talk about the game overall. Um, so to start off, some of the stuff I alluded to, and I'm curious on the feedback, especially for people that have watched the whole video. Because you guys are, you know, the ones that are obviously the mo most interested. Um, so Mark really hasn't played a whole ton of this game. You've dabbled into it, but to put it into perspective, you dabbled into back when Red Thunder was not only the current book, it was the new book for the Soviets. I believe so, yeah. That was a while ago. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's been a hot minute. And that's one where, like, um, obviously Yankee is a much less popular game than some of the other stuff that we cover here. Or at least that's my perception. Um, the people that like it love it, though. So for folks like Mark, because I filmed with him a bunch for other systems, um, you know, he had enough of a base knowledge. I'm like, yeah, let's try a game. It might be a little bit clunky. It might not be perfect, but uh, let's do it. And, you know, put a spin on it and say, you really kind of push the idea for you folks that want to try this game. Hey, look, you don't got to be great at it. Just get out there and play. Things don't have to be the uh, most appropriate, uh, hyper-realistic paint schemes from the era. Just paint your little toys and push them around and play. Have fun. So, I don't know. Did you guys enjoy this bat rep? Did you have fun with this bat rep? I'm curious. Leave me feedback. Um, I'm also, like, not super confident in my content creation for Yankee. Just because I don't get to play enough, like, 40k I can do with my eyes closed for the narration. And that's the big thing, is the narration and showing off the important parts. Um, I know some people would want me to show every little dice roll. It really slows the game down. So I try to show the most meaningful ones. I try to do the movement recaps and all that kind of stuff. But, um... Again, always looking for feedback so I can create better content for this system because I really do enjoy it. And obviously, you know, I'm a little bit rustier on the rules just because I don't play Yankee like twice a week, three times a week, every week <laughs> of the year. So yeah, um, let me know, uh, I guess, two different things for you folks uh, at home. Are you enjoying the content and is there ways that you would enjoy it more? And then also the encouragement, if you want to come in and play, get in touch. Um, it's a little bit tougher to nail down a date for Yankee because I'm the only one that plays, so I need to make sure I'm available because there's nobody that covers if I'm mm. sick. Um, so ideally, it's people that play multiple game systems that I'm like, well, just in case, also bring this other system that Luku knows how to play. Because uh, you've got Lord of the Rings, right? That is correct, so, you yeah. know, uh, hypothetically, if I get hit by a bus, then, uh, well, we'll just play Lord of the Rings instead. Um, but yeah, that's, a, that's enough of that little ramble. Um... You know, so give me some feedback. But let's talk about, uh, let's talk you and I about the game. What do you think? How did you, give me your overall impressions of this game we just played. Um, I had a blast just playing and, you know, learning slowly and uh, starting off realizing, you know, reading off my list to you, Josh. You're like, that doesn't make sense. Uh... Yeah, because you, you had the Afghansty, but you didn't have... Enough Heinz. You didn't have enough Heinz to actually transport them all. So I'm like, that's okay, that's legal. But try to explain the implications of, well, these guys are going to start on the board and then they're hoofing it. Yeah. Um, which is a potential thing, because I think the Afghanistan is supposed to represent um, troops that have been dropped off previously. Uh -huh. And then they're being supported by other stuff. But that's not what you were planning on doing no. with your, your attacking force here. So, yeah. Um, we corrected that really quick, but... And you had more than enough models to kind of cover the, the, the minor changes. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so you enjoyed, you had fun? Oh yeah, I had a fun. Uh, I enjoyed fighting with the melee, and my infantry assaults, just yep. being silly. Uh, <laughs> and that's what it's turned to be out with my own personal friend groups when the few chances we have been able to play. I just use the infantry to uh, kind of bully my opponent a little bit and uh, keep him off objectives. So it worked out there. <laughs> yeah, because we talked about it. Because you had a good amount of infantry stands <clears throat> on the board, but overall... When you, when you said you were running a BMP2 company, um, and I'm like, okay, so like I was thinking the big, like, giant formations, yeah. uh, you know, like, each brick has 12 BMPs full of guys, and you have two of those. Um, and then when I saw what you brought to the table, I'm like, oh, this is a lot more tame than what I was expecting mm -hmm. for, like, huge amounts of infantry. You can really go crazy with this game, but... 
Yeah, and I know the feedback, because we played 100 points, I know the feedback is going to be, um, you need more AA, and you need some artillery. Mm -hmm. um, so at home, you said you had a couple of the rocket trucks, but you don't really use them? No, I haven't, so... <laughs> That could be, because there's a learning curve to figure out how to use the rocket trucks. A hundred percent. So I totally understand that. I think we talked a little bit pre-game and said uh, carnations are probably where it's at for you. Mm -hmm. um, they can put some work in. But even we can look at some of the airborne stuff. The, I think they're called Nonas. They're like a, a weird little mortar kind of thing. Hmm. Uh, there's some different options for you to be able to put down smoke, but also just uh, hammer infantry. Because okay. I know with my deployment, like um, on my, my home objective, Cool. My infantry are going to sit there all game. I don't have to worry about the Soviets constantly bombarding me. I can just sit in my foxholes and defend. So I was very confident on that side that you probably weren't going to push through mm -hmm. unless you focused everything over there. And then I'm like, well, I could I can deal with this if he does that because he's going to get gummed up in the forest a bit. Mm -hmm. But uh, was there anything that worked way better than you thought it was going to in your list? <sighs> uh, I mean... I guess it would have to be the infantry. <laughs> the infantry, some little yeah. infantry assaults with the RPGs and stuff? They even bailing out a couple of tanks, even in my last turn there, bailing out three. Um, the other one's destroying the two AA guns and then the Leopard. Um, yep. Kind of disappointed with my T-64s on that side of the flank. They uh, kind of melted after turn one. They didn't really do much after that, so... Um, that's fair. Yeah, there was still, you got one of the Leo 1s, uh, sorry, yeah. the, the Leo 2s down early because I had wonky deployment. I should have just put myself in the forest. I would have exposed myself to more fire, but I would have been, mm -hmm. you would have been able to take more shots, but they would have been on sixes instead of fours. Yeah. Which I probably would be okay with. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, it all worked out um, in the end. I get that. I was back and forth. Like the 64s were kind of spooky for me because I'm like, oh, they've actually got enough armor to kind of stand up. Um, but I want to look at the point cost. We'll, we'll check it out after the game, because I run T-72Bs, and that's, like, my jam. Because mm -hmm. they have slightly better armor in the same gun. But they don't have an advanced stabilizer, so they don't move as quick. But you can you can move them the same speed, and they take a penalty to hit. Okay. But, yeah, I want to see how the point costs add up there. Um, but, yeah, T-64s are no joke. They're, they're pretty spooky. And, I mean, like... My Leo, they were essentially immune to my Leo ones, because mm -hmm. my Leo ones are throwing AT nineteen, um, so at range, you count as armor eighteen essentially. Cool, I can um, I can bail you. And meanwhile, my armor nine, <laughs> when you shoot back, yeah, I'm just gone. So I would have to get a lot of lucky hits and just uh, double bail, and hopefully you fail and run away. Mm -hmm. But the Soviets tend to not do that. So yeah, it was, they're, they're a no joke kind of tank, but uh, it feels like, yeah, the 10 of them that you had, now granted your one got stuck forever. Yes. But yeah, the 10 of them didn't do probably as much as you had hoped for, but they did force me to deal with them, which took pressure off of your other things. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, that's fair. I'm real curious to see... Um, yeah, moving forward as I, I kind of, you know, show you a couple different things on what you want to try differently with the list. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. My Germans need a lot of work. Uh, it kind of worked out because my I got a little bit of artillery out getting painted right now, but I actually don't have any artillery mortars or anything else. Um, you brought two of the sh the uh, guepards that I used in this game for me. All right. So, thank you for that. Because otherwise, yeah, this this is not a, a well-supported force, I realized after the fact. And then it worked out because neither of us had artillery. We didn't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. But it would have benefited you more than me anyways. Uh, but sometimes it's fun just to, you know, especially with somebody that doesn't have a ton of experience with the game, just let you play the way you normally play and we'll, we'll evolve and grow from there. Because you come down, is it once a year on average? Just what I've had been doing the past yeah. three, four years now. Yeah, I think it's my yeah. fourth time here. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Because uh, we played MCP this time, but you, you, you've played in the past played Lord of the Rings and Blood Bowl a bunch? Yes. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Well, any any closing thoughts for the folks at home? No, I... Be kind. I'm sorry. I'm new. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This community is pretty cool. There's, granted, like any other community, there's going to be people that are jerks. Um, they're probably going to yell at me more than they're going to yell at you. Um... 
But yeah, overall, I mm -hmm. you know I'd love to see more people get into this game and try this game. Yeah, seeing this, uh, you know, playing this game, seeing what I could use more of, like as you said, more BMPs, even more tanks, because this is all the tanks that I have currently, besides T80s and uh, BMP3s. So if I get which more... is just expensive stuff. Yeah, this is some yeah. of the starter set stuff, right? Yeah, just okay. just that. So. Yeah, because I said I got some little armored cars I threw at you the other day, and we'll, we'll look at the different ways you can build and use them. Mm. Um, yeah. So viewers, leave some comments, leave some love. Um, I'd love to get some feedback on how you know I can potentially maybe improve the way I'm covering this game. Um, I'd love to get more of you folks into play. Uh, whether you're a beginner like Mark, uh, or you're an old vet uh, like some of the other folks that have showed up that can really, you know, Teach me a lot in a very mm -hmm. short amount of time. I'm looking forward to uh, doing that. And then, yeah, leave some feedback for Mark on uh, you've seen how he likes to play. Uh, maybe uh, give him some advice. I assume, yeah, you're active enough in the comment section. So yeah. uh, okay. if you say, uh, hey, Mark, and then uh, give him some advice, he'll probably reply back to you mm -hmm. within a reasonable time frame of when this video <laughs> goes out. But, yeah, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you liked it. Um, other than that, keep being awesome, as always. Happy Wargaming. Happy Wargaming.